Chinese workers were forced to eat live fish and drink chicken blood for not meeting quotas. I don't want to give my boss any kind of ideas here, so let's keep this story between us, okay? Okay, cool. I'm your host, Joss. Welcome back to Inform Overload. We find trendy news stories, we make them fun, we then make videos, and then we share them with you. A day in the life of the IO team. You're welcome. If you're wanting to find us outside of YouTube, all of our social media pages are linked down below. And to never miss another video, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. You know what they say, if you like it, then you should put a ring on it. A horrifying video has surfaced online that shows workers at a Chinese construction company being forced to eat live fish and drink chicken blood as punishment for not meeting quotas. Talk about work harassment. There's no way this is legal, right? The footage, which was filmed in Gizhou province, I apologize if I said that wrong, shows a man reaching into a bucket and handing out live mudfish to the workers who are all standing in line. One by one, you can see them eating the live fish with a horrified and disgusted look on their face. I don't know who I feel more bad for, the workers or the poor fish. They're alive. Just when you think it can't get any worse, the workers then proceed to drink down a substance that was reported to be chicken blood. The construction company owner came forward, brave man, and denied that there was anything wrong with the punishment. He said that all the people in the video were all shop owners who volunteered to participate in the punishment ritual. This isn't the first time punishments like this have been reported. On different occasions, there have been cruel and humiliating videos that have surfaced online showing Chinese workers doing different things. In 2016, the paper reported on a video which showed employees at a Jinlin car loan company being forced to crawl on all fours like some sort of animal through the streets after failing to meet their sales targets. But of course, their boss came forward saying that it was all voluntary. He said he wanted to set a good example and said that the discipline boosted the company morale. Then again in 2018, video surfaced of Chinese workers being forced to drink toilet water and also another incident where they were forced to eat bitter gourd. So how is this even legal or able to happen? According to the anti-poverty NGO, The Borgen Project, independent labor unions are illegal in China, with the government only endorsing one union called the All China Federation of Trade Unions. The ACFTU is tied closely with the government though, so many workers don't confide in them when it comes to advocating their rights. Good news is, labor activists and NGOs are still trying to fight for change. In 2017 alone, there were 600 reported worker strikes and protests. Let's hope for some change soon because I cannot handle watching another one of these videos. It ain't right. Well, let me know what you guys are thinking all about this down in the comments and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let's move on to something more fun. Comment time. I'm going to respond to some comments from my last IO video. If you see colors in this picture, you're wrong. The key says, jokes on you, I'm colorblind. Well, you definitely win this battle. Smooth move. Just saying says, we've been quite possibly bamboozled. We most definitely have been bamboozled, and I really hope this is a friend's reference. Ashlyn MTZ says, I see black and white, but my mom sees colors. Well, the young brain is a lot sharper, if you know what I mean. I'm just kidding, don't tell your mom I said that. Great Devastator says, it's a black and white picture with colored strips. I don't know if I'm high, but that sounds like a colored picture with a black and white background. I think you're high, because it's stripes, not strips. All right, we are at the end here. Don't forget, if you like this video, then you should put a ring on it and hit that notification bell and subscribe button. To keep watching more IO videos, just click the playlist on your screen. It's right over here. I'm your host, Joss, and I will see you in a future IO video.